This screencast is going to go through a conceptual problem focused on vapor liquid equilibrium between two different species. Specifically, we're looking at the following question, where we have a closed system that contains methanol and ethanol in vapor liquid equilibrium at one bar in some temperature. Now, if the temperature of the system is raised slightly at the same pressure, what happens to the two phases? The question specifically asks, how does the methanol mole fractions change for each phase? We're given that the saturation temperature for methanol is 65 degrees Celsius, and the saturation temperature for ethanol is 78 degrees Celsius. At this point, I would say to try to solve this on your own before moving forward. So right away from the given information, we could see that the more volatile species is methanol. It has a lower saturation temperature. The best place to start with a problem like this is by drawing a diagram. So we should start specifically with a TXY diagram that shows the phase equilibrium between these two species. So here's a TXY diagram for methanol and ethanol, specifically at one bar pressure. On the y-axis, we have temperature. And on the x-axis, we have the mole fraction of methanol. X for the liquid mole fraction and Y for the vapor mole fraction. So as you recall from TXY diagrams, this bottom line represents the bubble point temperatures and the top line represents the dew point temperatures. And this means that everything above the dew point line is going to be in the vapor phase and everything below the bubble point line is going to be in the liquid phase. So we could read this TXY diagram and determine the phases of both species in both the liquid and the vapor phases. And to do that, let's just pick an arbitrary point. Let's say that there is a one-to-one -one molar ratio of methanol to ethanol. And we are right around here to start in our system. So somewhere around 70, 71 degrees. If we increase the temperature at all, just slightly, so that we still have two phases, we could go to the right to the dew point line, and this is going to give us our vapor mole fraction of methanol at that system. So say let's say 0 0.59. So then we know that the vapor mole fraction of ethanol is going to be 1 minus that, 0 0.41. This also gives us the mole fraction in the liquid phases. So we go the opposite to the bubble point line, and we go down to the x-axis, and we see that the mole fraction in for methanol in the liquid phase is approximately 0.45. Four, five. And 1 minus this for our ethanol in the liquid phase is going to be 0.55. So now we know what our compositions of both the vapor and liquid phase are. And if we were interested in going back to our problem at hand, we're told that we increase the temperature slightly and still maintain two phases. So let's just increase a little bit more. We do this again, and we see that our mole fraction of methanol in the vapor phase has decreased. And if we look at the mole fraction in the liquid phase, it has also decreased. So when we increase the temperature of our system and maintain two phases, we've decreased the mole fraction of the more volatile species in both the liquid and the vapor phases. So the answer to this question at the beginning would be D. Let's take a look at this from a physical perspective, another way of maybe describing this. Let's say we have our container with our two phases of methanol and ethanol. So since we're maintaining constant pressure, I've drawn a piston cylinder type setup where we have our vapor and our liquid in some kind of equilibrium. Here we have methanol particles that are evaporating and going into the vapor phase. And when we're at equilibrium, we also have some vapor components that are condensing and going into the liquid phase. So we have some equilibrium between the two. Now when we raise temperature and maintain pressure, we're going to cause more methanol to evaporate. So strictly from this perspective, we would say that the mole fraction of methanol in the liquid phase would decrease when temperature increases. Since we only have the two species, that must mean that the mole fraction of ethanol in the liquid phase must be increasing, since the mole fraction of methanol is decreasing. But what's the other thing that's happening? So up here in the vapor phase, we have methanol and ethanol. But say as we start increasing that temperature, we're also going to cause ethanol to start evaporating as well. So now we've increased the amount of ethanol that has gone from the liquid to the vapor phase. So while we've also increased the amount of methanol that's gone into the vapor phase, the mole fraction of methanol in the vapor phase is decreasing because ethanol is also vaporizing and going into the vapor phase. So this means that we've now increased the mole fraction of ethanol in our vapor when we increase temperature 
this means we've decreased the mole fraction of methanol. So what happens if we keep increasing temperature? Well, let's go back to our TXY diagram and take a look at that. Eventually, if we go back to our last point and we keep increasing, we're eventually going to break that dew point line and end up in the vapor phase. And the composition of that vapor is going to be where we started for equimolar solution of methanol and ethanol. We're going to finish with an equimolar solution of ethanol and methanol in the vapor phase. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how a TXY diagram can be used to determine the compositions in both the liquid and vapor phases when we have vapor-liquid equilibrium between two species.